Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here again in the studios at RTC. Today we're visited by Gary Clevenger. He is the Democratic candidate for Fulton County Assessor. Gary, welcome. Thank you. So first time in the studio, good to be here, good to have you here. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. You're running for Fulton County Assessor. Yes, sir. So Assessor, talk to us a little bit about what an Assessor does. Let's start there. Okay, the Assessor assesses the real and personal property. Okay. Um, Outside of um, residential, there's also commercial assessing. Um, now, there's a lot of uh, layers of assessing um, you can get into, um, grades, um, sales, income, but those things I think would bore the listeners as mm -hmm. much. So mm -hmm. basically, at the end of the day, the assessment comes down to um, your assessment should reflect the market value. Um, that's per Indiana code. So the assessment that is on your commercial or your residential property should reflect what you would expect to sell it for today if you were to sell it. Okay, fair market value. Correct. Okay, very good. And there are probably some formularies that go into assessing what that value is, yes. right? Very good. Um, and of course, we're talking about real estate. So you've got comparables of sales, you've got improvements on the facilities, those type of things. Right? Yes. Comparable sales are actually the most common oh. um, form to reach an assessment. Okay. We look at the sales study ratios. Uh, we can Indiana allows three methods okay. to um, come to an assessment, and that could be uh, the sales comparison approach. Mm -hmm. We could look at the income um, or we could look at the cost approach, which is going to be for your new facilities being built or Excellent. your new homes. Excellent. Well, let's uh, step back for a moment. Let's talk about Gary. Uh, where are you from? Who are you about? What's going on in your world? Okay. So I am from Rochester, born and raised. Okay. Uh, my, my mother is Deborah Clevenger. My father is Gary Clevenger, whom uh, a lot of listeners know through Mama's Pizza. Uh -huh. And um, we uh, are a close-knit family pretty spread out here in uh, Fulton County. My wife, Vanessa Clevenger, and I have three children. Um, Paige is my stepdaughter. Mm -hmm. She is um, 22 years old now. Okay. Uh, Elijah is 12 years old, my son, and Ireland is 11 years old. Oh my gosh, I love their names, by the way. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. So you got the kids, the wife, the family. You've got roots here in Fulton County. Yes. What yes. do you do? So I am a deputy assessor in uh, Marshall County. Oh, wow. And, Got um, some experience. Yes. Excellent. Yes. I actually uh, went to college a little later in life, graduated mm -hmm. from Indiana University, uh, Kokomo campus, okay. and um, started a job here in town at appraisal management, okay. a research company, and became a tax uh, rep within probably a year, uh, certified level two. Wow. And then I went on a little bit later to get my level three, which is what you should have as an assessor. Uh -huh. um, and so I've been serving the community. Um, probably for a little over five years, I wow. think, in that capacity. Excellent. So Marshall County, Fulton County. Yes. Going to be differences in the assessment and, and property values, or do you see some similarities between the two? There are. So when it comes to assessing, um, we both counties have to go by the state guidelines. Well, all 92 counties in right. Indiana have to go by the state guidelines. Um, however, there's a lot of local discretion as to how you operate okay. um, your office. And so just a few facts to throw out there. Um, some of the differences are going to be um, parcel size for one. In Fulton County, we have just over 17,000 parcels. Mm -hmm. In Marshall County, we have just over 33,000 parcels. Wow. So um, there's almost twice as much there. Almost. Um, and as far as the office size goes, we have five full-time here in Fulton County, including the assessor. Uh -huh. And in Marshall County, we have eight full-time. Wow. Um, so, but outside of that, the biggest difference, I think, is going to be the way in which we operate. Um, so we have our certifications, and we're certified by the state. Mm -hmm. um, we're in continuing education all throughout the year. Okay. Um, and... It's great to have all those credentials, but if I have those credentials and don't do anything mm -hmm. outside of the box, then what value am I really adding? Right. So um, one thing that we do in Marshall County is we assess all of our properties in-house. Okay. Uh, so we don't have an outside vendor. I see. Um, in Fulton County, we have a third-party vendor that does our assessment work for us. Okay. 
Um, they do some of our appeals. There's a lot of different uh, things that they do for us. Mm -hmm. um, the company that we just signed up with is from Kokomo, mm -hmm. um, and I believe it's at Valorum. Um, pretty good outfit, but uh, that costs the taxpayers mm -hmm. more than $350,000. Really? So that's a pretty big tax burden. Um, the county council, the city council, folks are really looking for ways to cut back. I mean, there's over a million dollars in cuts they're trying to make. Mm -hmm. um, so in times like these, we need to think outside the box. And I think one of those things is to get rid of the vendor, um, cut that cost for Fulton County residents, mm -hmm. and do our assessments in-house. Interesting. As we do in Marshall County. Interesting. Okay, so that would be one difference you would see with a, a vote for Gary Clevenger. Yes. Okay, very good to know. Um, a lot of nuances to what you guys do in, in the assessor's office. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's one of those thankless jobs. It, it's <laughs> a necessary evil. It has to be done. That's how we pay for the new roads. That's how yes. we pay for the sidewalks. And... and uh, our infrastructure that's desperately important. We know how important it is here in this country. We don't want our bridges to have problems. We don't want our roads full of potholes. But, um, you know, it's something that I don't think I would personally throw my hat into the ring on. <laughs> so you have to have a little zeal for doing that type of thing. And, and you're obviously doing that now up in Marshall yes. County. You know, yes. that's something you would have to give up up in Marshall County yes. if you were elected. Yes, and I'm glad you brought that up. Um, you do have to have a, a vested interest. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, coming from Marshall County to Fulton County, as a deputy assessor, if I were to become the assessor, there's not a huge financial reward for that. Right. I'm looking at um, two to $3,000 increase. This right. is public knowledge salaries. Right. It's not a high paying job. Mm -hmm. However, um, I see an opportunity to um, save myself and a lot of other taxpayers a lot of money. Um, I believe there's some work to be done. And the reason I want to get involved, roll my sleeves up, is not just because I know how to do it and because we are doing it in-house, but because I want my children and my grandchildren to inherit something better than what we have today. Okay. Easy enough. Fair enough. Gary Clevenger, he's running for assessor here in Fulton County. He's on the Democratic ticket. Uh, I've been saying November 8th, but it's actually November 6th. Sixth, correct. Somebody corrected me in one of the interviews. And for all of those of you who I said 8th to, I apologize. Uh, but it is November 6th. We want everybody out there to vote. As I continue to say, I'm trying to get that up around 40, 50, 60 percent voter turnout. That would be great. That would be awesome. Um, really awesome. We sit in the 30s. A lot of communities around the country sit in the 30s a lot. Uh, primaries sometimes even worse than that. Yes. So uh, this is a general election. These are people influencing how your money is being spent, how uh, this community is being shaped for the future. So if given the opportunity, please get out there and vote. I want to thank you for your time and uh, thank Gary for being here today. Thank you. And I just want to piggyback on that. And I just want to say I have a lot of um, Republican friends. Um, matter of fact, eight of the 10 folks on my campaign committee are Republican. Mm -hmm. um, it's imperative this election that people get out and vote. Not only that we get out and vote and um, exercise our right, but um, I would ask that folks think beyond a straight ticket. Um, I have a lot of friends that um, that know people who are um, adamant about straight tickets. And I, I can understand on a federal level where folks are coming from, but it's important when we work so hard on um, both parties' sides to find qualified, good candidates to run in these positions. It's not an easy thing to find candidates. Um, so when we do, I would just ask that you don't overlook them um, and be colorblind and actually look at who's on the ballot and give them that opportunity. Well said, sir. Well, thank you again for watching. We'll have more of these interviews for you right here on RTC. Thanks again for watching RTC TV4. I'm Scott Sager. Thank you.